So what is a blockchain? A blockchain is a shared public ledger that is secured by cryptography. Okay, well, what does that mean? So uh, let's start at the beginning. Let's imagine that uh, I pay Sid five bucks. So I write down on a piece of paper that Sarah pays Sid five bucks. And then Sid pays me 20, so he writes down Sid pays Sarah 20 bucks. So think of that piece of paper as the shared public ledger. Now, what's to prevent me from going over, stealing the pencil and writing, Sid owes Sarah a million dollars, you know? Or if we let our friend be in charge of the ledger, what's to prevent our friend from scribbling it out and saying both Sid and Sarah owe me a million dollars? So anytime you have someone in charge of the ledger, you're putting an enormous amount of trust in that person to care for that ledger. So now, instead of that, imagine that there's actually two copies of the ledger. So I have a copy and Sid has a copy. And every time it's updated, then Sid's copy updates too. And every time his updates, mine is updated. And if we have friends that participate in this network, then they all have copies of the ledger. And every time it's updated, there's updates too. So that's the power of decentralization. Because if I try to go in and edit my piece of paper to say, Sid owes Sarah a million dollars, that's not gonna work because it's not gonna look that way on his ledger. So everyone who participates in the network has a copy of the ledger and everyone's is secured by everyone else. And the data is stored on many servers all over the world instead of just one server that you have to put a lot of faith in. It solves the double spending problem where you have one unit of digital currency and it could accidentally get respent somewhere else. It solves that problem. Um, so if anyone tries to manipulate a transaction, which will cause the link to break, and the entire network will see what happened. And cryptocurrencies are just the asset that is transferred across the blockchain. So blockchain powers cryptocurrencies. They enable you to transfer value over the internet without the need for an intermediary or a middleman, which would be the equivalent of one person that you have to trust with the ledger. So cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum have grown as digital alternatives to money that is issued by a government or central authority, which is, again, essentially just having to trust one entity with the public ledger. Blockchain, however, can do other things besides cryptocurrency or aside from finance, even aside from money. You can use blockchain to deal with supply chain management or identity or security, smart contracts, NFTs, all these things that Sid really likes to talk about. Um, so we'll get to that in a bit.